right below the rescue squad. It was kind of like the blood pumping through his face. Chief Brian Woodard's sister says she cannot remember a time when her brother did not want to save lives. Brian always said when he was little, when he grew up, he either wanted to be a policeman or a fireman, or if he couldn't be one of those, he guess he'd be a doctor. <laughs> With the rescue squad, it was like he got to be all three rolled into one. His wife and two children always understanding when duty called and Chief Woodard leapt into action. Him and his wife, when they go to my sister's house for Sunday dinner, they always brought two cars. That way if he got a call out to a run, she sent her the kids on the way home. And he would always answer the call. And the kids never knew, you don't cry back that in the state because when he gets a call, He's got to answer. The family of four all battling the virus at the same time. Chief Woodard was the only one who did not make it. And as her firstborn, it has been almost impossible for his mother to face the realization he is truly gone. I've just lived in a daze. I just couldn't believe something like this could take what we thought was a strong, healthy person and take them down so quick. But she is at peace knowing they are together and is grateful to be able to lean on the support of her family and the community who have spent the last week checking in on her. I don't know where it would be if it went for our friends and our neighbors and co-workers and church people. Remembering her son for the, the love and concern he gave his community, whether he knew the people or not. He he gave everybody the same care.